you have to see this huge source of traffic. It's one of the biggest traffic sources I have ever shared with you. And there's a very specific way to use this to extract the maximum amount of traffic from it. So pay attention to this. Make sure you watch this entire video so you don't miss anything. And also, I've got a very important question for you at the end. So make sure you stay around to answer that. So let's have a look at similar web, the traffic stats, global rank 103, crazy high. It's like the 103rd most popular website on the planet. The country rank is 59, United States, crazy high. Look at this traffic overview. So we've got 300 million visits a month. And then it's dipped down slightly in the last month or so to 284. So 284 million visits a month. This is one of the biggest traffic sources we've ever spoken about. So traffic by country, United States, 39%. UK, 6%. Canada, 6%. Japan, 5 Germany, 4 So in terms of... CPM traffic, AdSense, that kind of thing. This is going to be really good for, for display adverts. This is the type of traffic that advertisers specifically want to see, and that's what they're willing to pay those high CPM rates for. I know that most of you guys are not monetizing via AdSense, which is a smart thing to do, but I know some of you guys are dependent on AdSense and display advertising too. So. Let's go down to traffic sources, 64% direct, 4% from search, 24% from social. So there's a lot of viral traffic happening here. Let's go down and have a look at that search traffic. 99% is organic, 0.1% paid. Social media, 24% of the, of, of the traffic total comes from social media. Look at this, 86% from Reddit. So you know it's awesome traffic. 5% from YouTube, 3% from Facebook, 1% from Twitter, 1% from Pinterest. Let's go check out the historical data. So here over the last 10 years, we can see that way back in 2009, it was getting around 20,000 a month. It's been consistently climbing up. In 2012, it hit 97 million visits a month, and then it continued to climb up to... 300 million in 2015 it carried on and it really peaked in around 2018 at 488 million visits a month and then it has decreased since then and where we're at at the moment is around 300 million which is still crazy high so let's go check out the website there is a very specific way of using this which i want to show you so if we go to imager it's one of the biggest websites. You've probably heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, you have probably or you've probably seen images and GIFs that have been hosted on this platform. It is huge. So let me show you how to use it. So first of all, we've got the search bar. So if we go marketing or whatever your niche is, this is really important. So we will find images and content that relates to those key phrases so it could be weight loss it could be whatever your niche is it doesn't really matter because it's covered here there's there's literally thousands and thousands and thousands of niches covered here so let's go guitar and there we have lots of lots and lots of tags relating to guitar i mean just look at this so if we type in something like health let me show you Let's go to the first one. So here we can see how many views it's had. So it's had over a million, over a million and a half views. Go back to the front page and type in something like marketing. Uh, let's choose one of these. So let's go with that one. That one again has had over a million views. So there you can see there is a lot of traffic here. People engaging with the content. This is an absolute killer source of traffic that we don't really hear people talking about very often. How do you use this for traffic? Well, what I recommend you do is sign up for an account because you can post anonymously if you want to. It's still kind of anonymous anyway, 
but I would recommend that you cr actually create an account so you can manage the images that you upload. So let's go ahead and use it. So I'm, I've got an account here that I've just set up. So if we go click new post and let me drag in just an, an image that I've got. So let's drag in that one. It can be anything really, as long as it relates to your niche. I'm just doing this for demo purposes. Now here we give your post a title. So I'm going to call this uh, money growth. So here we have description. Now you might be tempted to add the URL to your website or whatever you're, you're trying to drive traffic to in the description. Don't do that. This is a mistake that I see people making who are trying to use this for traffic. What happens is Imager doesn't want you to add links in the description. So what it will do, it will separate the dot and the, su the suffix. So if you type, say, google.com, what it will do is put in the Google and then a space or Google dot space and then come. So it breaks the URL. It ends up being a broken link. We don't want to do that. So don't add your link to the description. That will not work. But what I want you to do is add a, a relevant title. Make that a really good, strong title. Make sure that your keywords or your niche is in there. That's really important. And then if we go to add tag, we have to add relevant tags and then you will get this drop down menu here of recommended tags. So we add as many tags as we can like that. And then we click add post to community. So that button there, post to community, click that. And then it's going to give you this pop up. It says, are you ready to start earning points and comments by sharing your posts with the imager community? And then you can say, no, I just want to grab a link or you can post publicly. We're going to post publicly. And now it's posting that to the community under the tags that you have specified. What happens next is you get this notification. It says, huzzah, your post has been shared to the community. It will be available in the gallery momentarily. This is important. So you have to wait a few minutes for the next bit. So what you, what you might want to do is just every couple of minutes, hit refresh, check if the next bit is, is available. And here on mine, you can see we've got this buffering waiting icon. So that's going to change in a minute and then we can proceed to the next bit. OK, and there we have the the comment section available. So here, this is where we can say something like. If you want more information, visit this website or go here. We put some original content in the comment. This is really important. So we continue to add value. Maybe we expand on what we're covering in the image or whatever the image is about. And then we link to a relevant website. Obviously, read the community rules play by their rules, be respectful as I know you will be, and then you'll, you should be good to go. Now, let me show you something in the time that it's taken to post this on Imager. Look at how many views this has had 16 views in that short amount of time. Absolutely amazing. So remember at the start of this, I said I had a question for you. Well, I would like you to decide the topic of my next video. Which one of these would you rather have? Would you rather know a way to create content really fast using other people's sources, doing it ethically and legally, and then driving traffic to that? Or would you rather a traffic source that has got around 5 million visitors a month? Which one of those would you rather I speak about in the next video? Let me know in the comments. And listen, this is just one traffic source and we need lots of different sources if we really want to grow a profitable and popular website. So for that reason, I'm going to give you a completely free traffic method. When you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic, it won't cost you a penny. And if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe to the channel too. hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care, guys.